In this video, we're going to be making a bar graph. So we're going to use the data that's given, make all of our labels, and build the bars. William recorded the number of sacks of crops for five months. Create a bar graph to represent the data. So we have our months, number of sacks. So our title could be number of sacks of crops. Ooh. I'm going to use the hashtag to represent number of sacks of crops. So there's our title. Now along the bottom, I'm going to label these as the months. So we're going to start with May and June, July, August, and September. Here is where we get to the scale. Now, if I look at my numbers, I have 35, 20, 45, 55, 30. None of them end in like a one, a two, a three, a four. They all end in either five or zero. So I could make my scale counting by fives and it wouldn't take up so much space. If I did it by ones, I have to make sure my scale went all the way up to 55 by one. Much easier to count by fives. So if I go zero, the bottom is zero, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh-oh. That means May, July, and August would not be on our chart. So maybe fives isn't the way to go. So now I'm going to try by tens, starting with zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So now my highest number is 60. My highest number of crops is 55. We can work with that. I'm now going to label my scale as number of sacks, number of sacks, and I'm going to label the bottom months. Now we have to make our bars. So May goes to 35. So if I go to 30, I don't want to go all the way up to 40. I want to go in the middle. So I'll draw a line in the middle and fill in everything below. June goes to 20. So we can just whoop, stop right at that line for 20. July goes to 45. So I'm going to go up to 40 and then halfway for 45. August goes to 55, so I go up to 50. Halfway for 55. And September goes to 30, so I can just go 10, 20, 30. Right to the line. 